With a flash of the ceremonial scissors, Alabama First Lady Marsha Folsom led off the march. 400 pairs of feet hit the pavement along the Avenue of Oaks, some with smiles, others more solemn, all with a common purpose, though, fighting breast cancer. I'm just hoping that everyone will realize that the incidence of breast cancer is increasing, that it's a disease that affects everybody at some point in their life, either through family or friends, and that it's very important that we focus attention and research on this issue so that we can find a way to beat this disease. Everyone today had been touched, some wearing labels in memory of those who lost the fight. For Mary Jones, it was her sister Alma who died last month. Her walk had a mission. Make them more aware of the um, importance for breast uh, self-examination, just to be aware that it's a, it's a real problem. Charles Irwin walked for his wife, Shirley, with her memory and a message for others. I see a doctor early do the testing. My wife did not. Helen Hassel came for her mother. Uh, she died five years ago of uh, pancreatic cancer, but um, I feel real fortunate because she had cancer when I was one, and she um, she survived for 29 years because of you know cancer research. <laughs> it's special for you to be here. Yes, it is. Some of the walkers today were much too young to understand the seriousness of today's message, but not too young to support their teacher Beverly DeKaiser, just diagnosed with breast cancer. They've been, a, they've been a real support, and it makes me, you know, want to keep going and go back to work every day. So that's been a real help to me, real big help. Today's walk wasn't about raising money, but awareness. And with a disease that so cruelly affects our mothers, sisters, or daughters, it is a message we all need to hear. On the Spring Hill College campus, Amy Greer, Action News 10.